Hi guys, welcome to the Ministry of Food. Right, I'm going to give you a right little cracker of a dessert. It's not much work. It's dead tasty. Uh, like most desserts, it's not exactly healthy, but it's lovely. I'm using bananas here. I'm making a banana tartar tan. I think it's a bit of a crowd stopper, personally. You can use different fruit. You can use peaches, apricots, nectarines, um, figs. Um, strawberries and classic apples, pears. I'm going to use banana, absolutely love it. So, we've got our bananas and we've got puff pastry, all butter puff pastry. It's good stuff, it's a great cheat. I mean, I can make puff pastry, but frankly, even I can't be bothered. It's a right palaver. So, it's a good thing to get. So, there you go pastry, bananas, and we're going to make a caramel. So, get yourself a nice tray about this kind of size. It could be a little bit bigger, but this is right. It could be square, could be round, but obviously, you want it to fit into the oven. Get it on a medium heat. Put it on the hob like that. I'm going to go straight in on a medium heat with sugar. This is a job to be very much aware that kids shouldn't be around on this. Caramel boils at a much higher temperature than water. If you dip your finger on it or spill it, it will scald you for life. So use your common sense, concentrate, no kids about, right? I want 50 grams of butter, or probably what we call a nice little knob. That goes on top of the sugar. A little shake of cinnamon. Cinnamon and fruit, apples, pears, uh, and bananas also is delicious. Um, you get that little kick that you get on top of one of those posh cappuccinos. So about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon level will do. And then also orange. I don't want the juice, actually. I want the zest. Now, if you've got a box grater or one of these little graters, all you want is just the bare orange zest. It's delicious, fresh, and works with all fruit, OK? Be it apple, pears, all out, lovely bananas. OK, now I'm going to turn the heat down now, and I'm going to use a spoon. Can you see that caramelising there? So we don't want it just to burn, so move it all around. You've really got to be careful, and I, and I don't want to scare you, because, like, you know, sharp knives, hot oil, hot water, caramel, I mean, it's all dangerous, but, like, you know, this sort of thing gets kids excited, and you don't want any little fingers getting involved. So that's taken me literally a minute. Really move it around. If you're ever making a toffee sauce, what you do is exactly this, and then you put cream in it and boil it up. Right, I'm just going to leave that, push that in the middle, and leave that just to start bubbling up a little bit. It's got little granules in it, and that happens sometimes. We're just going to cook it, and it'll just start to melt. OK, bananas. So, peel these little babies. I think it's nicer to have not-so-ripe bananas. If they're too ripe, they sort of just seem to cook away. But, um, keep this moving. You don't want it catching. If it does catch, just put some water on it, put it in the sink, wash it and then start again. I'm going to put it on a low heat now. Turn it right down to a low heat. OK, so you've got to control that, OK? So when it's getting to... Look at the colour of it, look at the texture of it. Just a few... Maybe one more minute and we'll be done there. OK. So this banana... Literally all I want to do is peel it and then slice it in half. I want to try and keep them whole, so instead of just clanking them in half, you might break it. So I just put my tip of my knife in the middle here, go right down, turn it around, join your tip at the other cut, and go right down like that. So, this is looking pretty good now. Let's move this all around. That's what we're looking for. All those little lumps mainly have gone, and the ones that are left will go. You've basically got a light a little puddle of caramel, so the heat off, OK? And take the spoon out. Don't be tempted to lick nothing, because you'll get right in trouble. I'm going to go in with the bananas. I'm going to go, and, and just to be sort of a little bit pretty, go one cut side down, and then the other one upside down, and that's just to sort of, I don't know, make it look pretty. If, by any chance, you get your finger in that hot caramel, straight under cold water. Because <laughs> I just felt a bit on my finger, and it hurt. <laughs> Can you see the caramel starting to... See, uh, look, literally, I've only just turned the heat off and it's starting to go hard, like toffee. Well, that's what it basically is, toffee. 
There you go. There you go. Bosh, bosh, bosh. So that, dead simple, yeah? The nice thing about this dessert is you really can start and finish the preparation in 10 minutes, right? And, it's, and it looks like you spent hours. So, puff pastry. This is a 500 gram block. Basically, just so you know, puff pastry is like hundreds of layers of pastry and butter. So when it cooks, the butter boils and it sort of expands like that. And that's why you're going to get this beautiful lift on it. So, really simple. A little bit of flour, put it in your hand and sprinkle it from a height, yeah? So you need a little bit of a surface area to do this. And then we use a rolling pin, flour on top, and just literally roll it out. And what you want to do is you want to make it a bit bigger than the tray itself because you want to tuck in the pastry at the edges. I reckon that you'll go about a quarter of a centimetre thick, okay? And if you're worried that it's starting to stick underneath, then you can pull, up, pull back half of it and flour it, and then pull back the other half and flour that. And then let's just sort of measure that up with a rolling pin. So that. Yeah, that's a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's like a small tea towel, really. So what I'm going to do is put my pastry in like that. And very carefully, I mean, you can let it cool down a bit more if you want. Just tuck it into bed. Just like that. All right? Look after it. If you're worried about getting your fingers too close, then just use um, you know, a spatula to do it, like that. Okay? Tuck it in. Make a point of having the edge tucked in, and that'll be your rim. Right, now what you can do is you can prick it with a knife, and that'll basically just stop it from rising too much. But to be honest, you don't have to. It's not the end of the world. And the lovely thing is you get that fluffy, beautiful, crisp pastry. You get caramel, which is, look, let's face it, a bit of a win-win. And then banana and caramel, best friends. It's going to be awesome. With a nice old blob of custard, ice cream, or creme fraiche, it's going to be all good. So, I'm going to put that in the oven for about 25 minutes at 190. Uh, the caramel is going to melt away, the banana will cook, and the puff pastry will expand up, go beautiful golden brown, and then as soon as it's cooked, we'll turn it out and you'll love it. OK, this has had about half an hour, in which time the pastry will be cooked. Now, here's the thing. You can serve it like this, cut it up, serve it sort of scruffily at the table. It will taste incredible. If you want to be flashy, then you've got to be careful. And that means turning it out, OK? Um, so what I'll do for that is I put a board that's big enough on top. I get a couple of cloths, and I'm very careful, and don't have anyone near me. And then I just basically move the hot tray and the board to the side of a cabinet. Put your hand on one side. Put your hand in the middle here, move it round, and flip it over. It's dead simple, but if you stutter or slow down or get caught halfway, you might have bits of hot caramel like that going over your finger, and you don't want that. So be careful, but it's no more dangerous than various types of cooking. You want to do it as soon as it's come out the oven. Have a little peek. Sometimes it likes to stick. There you go, but not today. That's good. If you want to turn it out, do it as soon as it comes out of the oven. If you let it cool down for a minute, the caramel will stick it to the tray and you'll never get it off, right? So there you go, a beautiful banana tartar tan. You can serve it hot or cold. Personally, I like to serve it hot like this, get some nice vanilla ice cream, get yourself a good old ball of it like this, and as that starts to melt, it just makes everyone go mental. I mean, it's a really good, simple, delicious dessert. So good luck, pass it on, and I hope you do a great job.